After Superstorm Sandy hit, Irina Medvinskaya was stranded with her two children in her darkened 20th floor apartment in Coney Island. The elevator stopped working. The food in her refrigerator spoiled. To me, my personal experience was that uh, it was the insurance company and it was uh, friends and family. It wasn't really anybody else. A new poll by the Associated Press and the NORC Center for Public Affairs Research finds that six out of ten people who asked friends or family for help found them very helpful. Less than 20 percent sought any state or federal assistance, and among those who did, few found them helpful. The storm brought Bernice Gangleware's community of Belmar, New Jersey, together like never before. We were sharing a big generator that the young man on this side of my house put in the backyard, and five families were hooked up to the generator. Family, friends, and neighbors shared food, gas, water, and other supplies. Nearly seven months after the storm, 71 percent say they have personally recovered, and 55 percent say their neighborhoods have completely recovered. But the scars linger. The way Irina Medvinskaya sees the ocean has changed dramatically. I used to be very excited about living by the water, and this used to be a high prime real estate in Brooklyn, a very calm, nice area to come. Now it doesn't feel so safe anymore. The poll surveyed more than 1,000 people affected by the storm, which killed more than 130 people and caused billions in property damage. Despite the widespread devastation, 77 percent reported the storm brought out the best among neighbors, while just 7 percent said it brought out the worst. Ted Chaffrey, Associated Press, New York.